on this week's episode of Bayou Wild TV. <laughs> we know that there are some absolute monsters out there in the lake. That's what keeps that legend going. Oh my God, you got a giant. Yeah. There's something bigger right behind it. Fish on, fish on. He's right here, he's right here. He's big. And the hits keep on coming. Woohoo! Closed captioning made possible by Explore Kayak Adventure Company. Fishing, sightseeing to photography tours, everything to make your paddling adventure happen. See Explore Kayak Adventure Company on Facebook and Instagram. Every day, we strive to preserve traditions that have spanned generations. Around every turn of the bayou, Mother Nature reveals unique people, places, and experiences. And the bounty of animals and fish. Well, in Louisiana, we just call that land yak. I'm Don Dubuque. I'm Chris Lacombe. I'm Captain Martha Spencer. Join us as we document the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage that make us buy you wild. This is Lake Pontchartrain, a 630 square mile brackish estuary home to a variety of both fresh and saltwater species, and the site of the only recorded fatal shark attack in Louisiana history. The year was 1914, and 17-year-old Peter Conspolis was swimming approximately 190 yards from the shore when he was attacked by a shark. Accounts from witnesses say the boy fought with the shark for nearly 20 minutes and was rescued by boat, but died before reaching shore. While dangerous shark confrontations are extremely rare, we called upon some experienced help for a Bayou Wild bull shark encounter in Lake Pontchartrain. Don, we're on the lakefront right now. Why aren't we catching redfish? Redfish? No, not today. Well, we're going after something special. What are we going after today? Well, you know, normally I don't bring this piece of equipment, my priest with me, but today I may need it, because guess what? Teeth involved. We're going looking for the Kraken. The Kraken. What's the Kraken? You'll find out. Oh boy. On a hot and sticky June day, it may seem unusual to head out on a fishing adventure in the middle of the day. We headed out with Captain Andy Jones in search of a wicked adventure, in search of what he calls the Kraken. It is a sweltering Wednesday afternoon on the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain. We're here with Captain Andy Jones, Andy Jones's locker. What are we doing today? Uh, we we're, we we're gonna go hunt for the Kraken. Our experience was we hooked into a giant fish out here years, a couple years back. I was with my oldest son and we, uh, we went in pursuit of it. We hunted that fish down. He dragged us all over the lake. But we got close to that fish, and we thought we were going to see it. We were getting excited, and then the line goes limp. And we're like, oh, it broke us off. Well, we got up, reeled it up, and that, that fish had broken the dot hook in oh, half. Oh, man. So we're thinking, in the lake? That's pretty crazy. So my son goes, what is that? A and Kraken like this? It's crawling so on your shoulder? That's a Kraken right there. That's him. <laughs> Cracking you know, bait right you, there. You never know what you're going to find in the lake, and I think there a lot is. of people don't realize how diverse the lake is and was. Right. 
being brackish water, there's a lot of different varieties that you don't expect to see. So hopefully we'll go find them. Bull sharks, alligator gar, big bull reds. Tarpon uh, sometimes even. Tarpon, Jack Crevel, mm -hmm. uh, all of it comes into the lake and that's what we like to pursue, something, something big and something unusual. Let's go find them. All right, let's do it. Coming up next. Oh my God, y'all. <laughs> Ripping drag. You're getting drag. smoked. That's a Kraken right there. We got Kraken off. One of the reasons why Double D has been around for 50 years is because we are consistent with what built the business. And we go to great lengths to make sure that when you bring a, a deer or a hog or whatever it may be, your meat stays your meat all the way through the process. But we want to be as true to the original intent which is a local meat company. And, and that's something that we want to maintain for as long as the Lord lets us do it. Hi, I'm Miss Louisiana Julia Claire Williams on behalf of the Louisiana Propane Dealers. We're all used to bad weather in Louisiana and we know the benefits of clean, portable propane gas during those emergencies. But if your propane tank is ever damaged in a storm, you should have it inspected by a certified propane dealer. And if you ever smell gas, turn the system off at the tank and call your dealer immediately. Propane is safe energy for everyone, and we want to keep it that way. Well, for those of you who've been watching the show for the last three years, you know we look for the unusual, not the same old, same old. And today was one of those trips. Shocks, no. I'll be a little stronger than I'm thinking. Oh, there's bait running all over right here. We first had to catch some bait, and uh, the guys had a lot of live bait, and I was really surprised to see how many mullet were in the lake. I mean, it was like the mullet run I've never seen before. And they said that this was the most bait they've seen all season, so things were shaping up nicely for us. So I thought what we do is give this a couple of hours and we'll come up here to this point, we'll try that. I think we got a shot once we, if we can keep that going, if we can keep seeing that. Well, they say they can smell blood up to a mile away. Yeah, yeah. and I got a little uh, Menhaden oil in there. We'll get a little chum. If you want to hold rod, you're welcome to do it. We'll put the other ones out. If one of them goes off, just come back, grab that joker, and do your thing. Okay. Well, you know, Wicked Fishing Charters, we do the redfish and the trout, like everybody else. Um, but we really enjoy chasing big fish in the lake. Got a garfish playing with my mullet. Can't decide if he wants to eat it or not. They're very finicky. They got all these teeth, you know. They got to figure out what they want to use them for. Did he stay on it? Mm -hmm. He had you going the exact opposite way. He had your line running that way. He might still be on there. Now these guys are specialists in garfish, bull redfish, and of course bull sharks in Lake Pontchartrain. And it's something unusual, alligator gar, uh, bull sharks and bull reds, something very unique to this area when they come into the lake and uh, not, not highly sought after. I think he ate it. He ate that time. He's on, should I set it? Yeah, if you're ready, if you think you got him, go Oh, ahead. he's running. You, got, you two are crossed up. Yep. Rod, rod up, rod up. You and Don are crossed. You got him on? Yeah. Uh, we got a little chaos here. Um, got some cross lines. I'm trying to stay tight on my fish. You hear the drag screaming. Rod's bending, and they know they've hung into something that's, that's going to be exceptional. It started off hot and heavy. We caught a bull red first, a 35-incher, probably my personal best. Uh, hadn't caught a bull red in a long time, so it was a lot of fun, but not exactly the wild species we were looking for. Pretty boy. 
So first it was a gar, and then it was a shark, and then it magically turned into a beautiful bull red. And then we started hooking in the garfish and big ones, five footers, just left and right, which put up a massive fight. He's right here, y'all. Yep. Woo! Get the last two <laughs> <laughs> Not a giant, but a nice fish. How cool is that? Uh, and where we're fishing, their fish are running. They're not able to dive down because we're fishing shallow water, so they don't have that depth of run is out. Fish can beat you, or you can catch the fish. But if you win, if you land, you've done something. Get him, Don. <laughs> could be the Kraken. <laughs> that is the Kraken. Don. Yeah, right. Oh my God! You got a giant. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I don't know, he's not that, but yeah. Quit <laughs> running. Everybody likes to tug on big fish. I mean, whether you're going to eat them or release them, it's always fun to have something that has a good fight. That is a stud. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Don, what'd you look into? You might have to you make some moves. Yeah. Keep his head a little <laughs> I can't get it all in. Catching the Kraken. Well, we ain't got the Kraken yet, but we damn close. <laughs> He'd be close. He go. Right, now most of these garfish we're catching and releasing, but we got one we want Chef Foltz to do a little something special with, so he's coming home with us. So he gets to meet the priest. Delta Marina is Plaquemines Parish fishing one-stop. Get live bait, fuel, ice, tackle, and marine supplies. Then launch into the world's most productive saltwater fishing. Return to the fishing cleaning station, relax in first-class cabins overlooking the bayou, all in Delta Marina's safety video monitored parking lot. Need a fishing charter guide? Delta Marina can hook you up. Cook your catch in your kitchenette or dine in the upstairs restaurant. Visit Delta Marina for a day or a week. Stop in just off Highway 11 down Rosemary Drive in Empire. Visit the deltamarina.com. We're out here in Mandeville on the lakefront on the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Uh, we went for a little alternative trip today, targeting some wicked species. Oh, look at him jump! <laughs> well, you might call those garfish the uh, poor man's tarpon. They do some acrobatics, they jump, they run, they pull. Probably one of the most underutilized food fish we have here in Cajun land. Typically starts in April and runs till about October. Um, October is usually the latest we do it as the water cools. We kind of tail off on that and really push into trout and redfish, sheephead, uh, all the other great eating fish that we have in the area. We comb to the shallows of the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain amidst a sea of mullet, the water nearly boiling with life as we searched for the kraken. When I had my boys coming up with me in the fishery, I loved having the kids there. I loved teaching them. I've been with John and Mackie now for, for a couple years. They've been working with me. 
but they're learning a ton and they're they're moving right along and they're doing a great job for us and I think they're going to be extremely successful down the road. But the plan today was primarily to go find those bull sharks, the fish that is going to take more line off than any other that swims in the lake. We had one big break off in that spot where we got hit very possibly could have been a, either a very large alligator gar or a bull shark. So we'll go and come back and take a look that we have some good luck here. Fish on, fish on! It is a shark. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Shark! Shark! He's he's underneath your line. I would bring that one in. Shooting all over the place. He just figured out he had a hook in his mouth. Y'all be uh Yeah I am. Do the dance, do the dance. Fishing offshore in Venice, sharks are a nuisance. But when you come target a species somewhere where you're not expecting to see them, it's a whole nother ball game. And it's pretty exciting to see something that you don't really expect to see in a brackish water basin. He's right here, he's right here. He's big, he's right here, right here. Well, we succeeded at our slam. She did a great job. Uh, you, you can tell she has a lot of fishing experience and that's a lot of fun to watch somebody <laughs> handle that fish the way they do. A lot of times people get a little, you know, it can be a little overwhelming when you hang something of that power. Let me just get enough. Got her. Got her. Grab the handle, everybody stand back. Watch yourselves. Woo! That is a stud. That's a big <laughs> shark. She's, she's thick, she's strong. She didn't run, you know, she was way stronger than the largest gar or bull red. They just have, they're all muscle. The tail is impressive. Not that we would have kept the bull sharks we caught today, but we couldn't. There's a closure between April and the end of June in Louisiana waters. And when it is legal, they gotta be pretty good size. 55 inches from the tip of the snout to the fork of the tail. That is one big bull shark. It's 46 and a half, almost 47. To the end of the tail, yep, 47. I think the most fascinating thing about garfish and sharks are that they're two of the oldest creatures on the planet. Their longevity is amazing and uh, Pretty much just their evolution is pretty impressive to see that they've been able to succeed for so many millions of years. Awesome. Nice job. Great job. And she's gone. Got him. Cracking, go. cracking. Cracking hunt. Success. Today we captured the elusive Wicked Slam. Talking about all the species we caught. We're trying to look back on the trip and figure out what was it that we did different because this is so rare. And we narrowed it down. Hubble's Hearth's Pickle Melaton. That's the answer. We got a UFO. There he is. Shark, shark, shark infested waters. It was the Verlato. <laughs> Always works. If we bring a shark on board and if they're over five foot, we evaluate whether we're gonna bring the fish on the deck or not. We understand that you will only make one mistake with a shark and that'll be your last. So we don't want it. We don't want that to happen. We, we can't make any mistakes. So we're very, very careful and we will always err to the side of caution. No, on yeah, awesome, good, good job. We caught the wicked and wild slam. We caught bull reds, stingrays, numerous alligator guards and the coveted bull shark, the kraken.
At Parish Coffee, we wanted to create a coffee brand that people would love to drink every day. Our medium roasts are, are nice, bright, nutty coffees. Our dark roast coffees are smooth and rich. I think it's important for consumers to recognize that sometimes it, it's your neighbor that you're supporting. People can go to parishcoffee.com to find the entire selection of coffees. to buy you wild TV. Now you saw Martha and I catching those garfish. And I'm gonna tell you, Chef, when I put the word out, we got out there and said, look, whoever bites this hook is gonna get to appear on John Fultz's <laughs> show. And look, there was a line they waiting. They jumped on the hook. They yeah. on the <laughs> ended up catching some nice garfish and thank you for inviting us over to, to, to cook them up and serve them. Yeah, you know, uh, these, are, these are dishes that we should be eating more of, but for some reason people are skeptical about it. They don't really know. They hear war stories about it. But, I mean, garfish is a great white meat fish. Really, really, really nice. Most of the markets carry it, so you can certainly you can certainly get it. And this is a, a, a dish that I decided to try to do a beautiful fricassee, kind of a stew, a, a cubillon, so to speak. Which is a when I talk cubillon, I'm talking about a lighter broth, not something with a heavy, heavy roux in it, mm -hmm. where you're tasting more of the ingredients than you are the roux and all of that heavy seasoning. And take a look at the uh, at, at the garfish. You see how nice it's and pretty, white that is. Pretty. Beautiful, right? And it and it falls apart in that pot. I after uh, an hour or so, an hour and a half of cooking. So why don't we put about half of our vegetables in that we're gonna have, yeah, yeah just throw it on in there like that. Hey, man, you're doing pretty good with that one finger right now. <laughs> yeah, look, and you gotta have garlic, y'all. You can't play around. Mm. Let that cook. Give me about half of those tomatoes while you're at it. And that'll protect that butter down here. Yeah, just about half of them, you can throw it on in. Gotta estimate half, right? So we're gonna throw that in there really nice. And then, uh, we got to uh, let this just simmer and start to break down really well. Give me half of the crawfish and half of the tasso. So if you, I'll, I'll pull that out of there for you, about half yep. of it. Okay, now give me half of that uh, smoked tasso. So let, let's take a look at the garfish and put about half of that down in here as well. Let's go ahead now and add our next layer. So you see I'm doing two beautiful layers, that's all I'm doing. Okay, I need a little bit of stock over there. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of um, salt in here, a little bit of granulated garlic, a little bit of pepper. So I can put a little bit of flour in it because that's where our thickening is gonna come from. And we're gonna cook this on low for about, I would say maybe an hour and a half to two hours. It's already seasoned, it's all in. Now you wanna see what it looks like when it's all said and Let's done. Let's do that. When it's ready to go <laughs> to the to the, to the guests, Ooh, take a look, look at, at Now that. take a look, look at, at this, y'all. And Don, if you give me that bowl right there. I want I'm you gonna to, give it to you now, but you ain't getting it back. Now I'm gonna break this up, just like that. You see why, it, it doesn't have a, it's not a soup, right? Ooh, yeah. It's yeah. a stew. And mm -hmm. Don, put a crouton on top of that, over there, and let me wipe that clean for you. Put one of those croutons on. And just take a look at that, how beautiful that is. Don't throw those garfish back. <laughs> now you know what to do with them. You better believe it. Let's, go, get, let's go take care of this. Let's let's go. Right. Yeah, I'll bring the pot. I'm gonna come uh, let's get on out of here. <laughs> We love our children. We protect them. We guide them. We prepare them for life in the world. With all that we do, from deep in our hearts, we cannot control all things. 
Life-threatening illnesses and disabilities affect far too many of our children each year. While we cannot change the circumstance, we can make dreams come true. Dreams to provide hope, to provide spiritual healing and strength, to provide moments of happiness and relief in the hardest of times. We can give a glimmer of light and hope in a time of darkness and despair. Join HuntOfALifetime.org to help make dreams come true, to provide hope for children with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Hunt of a Lifetime is a nonprofit organization fulfilling dreams for hunting and fishing trips to youth 21 and under with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Visit HuntOfALifetime.org to learn how you can make a difference. Closed captioning is brought to you by Global Outdoors. Find your next adventure and share your experiences with others by downloading the Global Outdoors mobile app or visiting globaloutdoors.com. You know, here in Louisiana, we've got a reputation of going out and catching as many fish as we can and bringing back and a load of them and eating them. Well, some people really appreciate just the fight. Not that you can't keep some of these fish that Wicked Charters has. Garfish are excellent. You can even clean a bull red, but I just think some of these fish, particularly the bull shark too, are just better utilized as a fighting fish than a table fish. And she's gone. Will the Kraken ever be caught? That's a great question, and I hope the Kraken is caught someday. Uh, I think the Kraken got us a couple of times today. We got snapped off real quick, uh, two or three times. Oh, I'm going to do a bust, man. <laughs> but, you know, that that's what keeps that legend going. The Kraken today is still swimming around waiting for us to put a hook in. Lake Pontchartrain is a true melting pot of offshore life, coexisting with freshwater, which teaches us to expect the unexpected. When somebody hangs into the fish that we hung into today, it's impossible not to have the adrenaline just shoot out of your body and the smiles are there. I still, I'm smiling now just thinking about what we did today. We are in shark infested waters in Lake Pontchartrain. It's just another wonderful part of Louisiana that we like to share with people. I think sometimes people just want to go fishing and not everybody is the culinary person that wants to catch and cook their catch. It's definitely an alternative to your speckled trout, your sheep's head, your redfish trips where you're trying to load up the freezer and it kind of takes some of the pressure off too. It's a lot of fun. From bass to trout, manatees to shark, it's proof that nature is hardier than we could ever imagine, making it a true Bayou Wild destination.